Ahoy! Welcome back. Um, we are now four days away from the trade deadline. What I've been doing is I have been working on the relationships of this team, all of my staff, to get at least good um, with our trainer I've been trying to get excellent um, which I did but now it went down to great because now I can do things like player develop training schedule team development team training and when I was on excellent I could do player mentorship um, so that will be a very big thing for a rebuilding team in this episode I'm going to be trying to trade for people like Bull Bull, which I know will happen, Devin Vassell, Matisse Thibault, Gary Trent, uh, Chuma Okeke, and Cole Anthony, which a lot of them are on the Magic, so it may or may not happen. So I'm going to be trading for those people, and I'm going to be doing training and other things like that, and then I'm going to be grinding out the rest of the season in terms of relationships uh, so that I can be able to be okay for the next season um, and hopefully be able to um, get all the things that I need to be able to help the team progress. So you'll also see their training and all the other things that are important. I'm going to be going for... Bull Bull with Theo, Maladon, and Darius Miller. Um, I'll be getting Bull Bull and Vlatko Kankar back. Um, this will do two things. We'll get Bull Bull and I have a task to get rid of Darius Miller from my um, team owner. So <laughs> this will help. For me, it's hard not to see the absolute potential of Bull Bull. Son of one of the tallest basketball players ever, Bull Bull is an all-around player at 7'2". He can shoot from almost anywhere on the court, almost having at least a 70 overall rating for all scoring attributes. He is also a pretty decent defender inside highlighted by an 86 block. He has a pretty good rebounding as well, and really, his only weakness I see is speed and perhaps his strength. All right, so this is going to cost a little bit more than I would want it to. But this is what I'm going to take. Udoka as a buki since we got Bulbul. Bull. Um, first round pick from OKC and it's a swap best. And a couple of second rounders for Chuma Okeke. Chuma's archetype is a stretch four. As an undersized four, he brings the three-point shot with an 83-point shot rating. One of his other strengths is his athleticism with only his strength being a little bit less than good. He is pretty good defender on the perimeter with an 80 overall perimeter defense rating, which allows him to play the small forward as well. All right, so the trade deadline is passed, and I have spent quite a bit of time looking at the free agency pool and these are going to be people that are more rotational players um, but the thing is not everybody can be a star one because it just isn't very likely and two if you have all stars then you have to pay all star money and then you end up losing stars so these are people that I think could be really a part of our core. And because of this, this is going to be a really big overhaul of all of our rotational players. So I am going to make a lot of releases and make a lot of signings. So you'll see those as we go along here. The first person we release is Otto Porter Jr. He has a big contract, but it's only for this year, so it won't really affect us in the long haul, and it will help us to be able to sign more people. The next person we release is Justin Jackson, who doesn't have a lot of potential in the game of 2K. The next person is Reggie Bullock, 
who we just got in a trade, so we didn't really need him. As well as Vlatko Kankar and Isaiah Robbie and Austin Rivers. Eli Okobo is a smaller combo guard at six foot three and was drafted by the Phoenix Suns a couple years ago in 2018 with the 31st overall pick. Eli's strengths are his playmaking with an 86 ball handle, 78 pa pass accuracy, and a 70 speed with ball, which will help with the flow of the game. Zaire Smith is a young and very athletic guard. His lowest athleticism stat besides strength is an 85, and to go along with it, he has a nice 80 overall dunk rating. Besides that, there isn't a huge amount to be impressed with, but with proper training and time, he could bloom into a star on the defensive or offensive end. Gary Payton II is the son of an NBA star, Gary Payton. He is another very athletic guard, but that wasn't what caught my eye with Payton. He has an insane 94 steal rating and some other great defensive stats. He can also hit a 3 or 2 and has a great driving layup at 82. With some training, he can do well. Diallo is just a solid player. A pretty good finisher inside with a 92 close shot and an 85 standing dunk and even a decent mid-range. He can improve in his defending and his shooting, but with some training, I think he could be a really solid center coming off of the bench. Another athletic player and a former dunk contest champion, Glenn Robinson III, is another solid player that can shoot and drive while still gives some solid defense. He can improve in his consistency on offense and his playmaking, but once again with good training he can make a big impact on this team, and I look forward to having him on the team. Our last signing for now, Omari Spellman, is a small ball center that can shoot the basketball very well but is also athletic and strong. He has a lot of work cut out for him in his playmaking and defending, but once they those get higher, it will definitely help the team to have another good shooter. Now that I have my roster where I want it to be, I ended up simulating the rest of the season, and here are the end of season awards. LeBron James bringing home another MVP award. We got LaMelo Ball as Rookie of the Year. Jared Allen as six man of the year. Giannis Antetokounmpo winning defensive player of the year. Christian Wood with most improved. Frank Vogel winning coach of the year. And finally, Justin Taylor winning executive of the year. Here are the all NBA teams as expected. Nobody from our team, especially with it being an extremely young team, it makes perfect sense why they wouldn't have an all NBA selection. <laughs> um, we did end up with um, Tyrese Maxey as all rookie second team, though. We're going to try to check his stats here, see what he put up. He put up that's per, per 36 minutes. He put up 13, 2, and 4 in his rookie season on 25.9 minutes per game. So that's really not bad. He's doing pretty good. We did not make the playoffs whatsoever. <laughs> so that's okay. I wasn't really expecting to this season, uh, which will hopefully be able to bring us a higher pick in the draft so that we can have somebody that will be another star of this team and yeah it looks like we're gonna have let's see who makes it to the finals here we have the heat and lakers let's see who wins it the heat win it over the lakers that's impressive good job let's see who wins mvp Bam wins MVP, and yeah, that's that's a wrap for this season. That's going to be it for this episode. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Um, I really enjoyed this series. This next episode I already have filmed, and 
I just need to edit. So stick around. It's going to be a good one. Um, there's a lot of stuff that happens and I'm really excited about this team and where it's going. Um, and we just hope to win some championships.